Hey guys, so today is going to be a very long-awaited video, another one. <laughs> I felt like all my videos are long-awaited because I always take forever to record them. But anyway, this is a long-awaited video and that is my closet tour. I promise someday I will do a full house tour or a bedroom tour. You guys like constantly request that but I just I need to get my crap together so finally I got my closet to the like tie the way that I wanted it to be and I'm ready to share it with you guys so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're interested in seeing my closet just stay tuned okay so most of you guys know already my closet stems off of my bathroom which you guys have seen bits and pieces I have a what's in my shower video that I will link somewhere up here if you're interested and when I film an actual room tour, I will film my bathroom along with it. But this door is in my bathroom, so you can actually have it shut. I, I, I never shut it. We always keep it just open to the side, and you'll see why in here, here in a little bit. I can't say my closet's not the biggest closet I've ever seen, but it's definitely not the smallest. So I am grateful for that. And I'm also grateful that it is like a, a horizontal closet, meaning it goes like from left to right instead of from front to back like I'm grateful for that so that when you walk in you don't you're not immediately like drowned by clothes all the way down so let's go ahead and get started when you walk in I'm gonna start over here to the left so this is why I keep the door open because I actually have one of these over the door hinges I think I got it from Ross maybe TJ Maxx really inexpensive and I hold all of my like bags and Hello Kitty bags really like Hello Kitty purses and regular just cheapy bags and things like that so here like I have all of them hooked here I tried taking off the door before and I just wasn't a huge fan of it like that it just I don't know it looked weird maybe if it never came with the door it would be different but it just looked weird so I have this bag here I think my grandma got it for me for Christmas one time I think she got it from Sears this bag is from Claire's. I know that because I've had it for a while. And then in the bag here I have just like um, extra wallets and little like change purses and things like that. Just because I really have nowhere else to put them. This bag behind the other one I got the idea from Candy Johnson. I think I bought it off of BagHoss.com. If I can find a link to it I'll put it down below but it's such a cute Hello Kitty bag. And then I have just a pink bag back here that I got free from Ulta with a gift for purchase. I have some Relay for Life bags here that I participate for the American Cancer Society and those are just like overnight bags and if I need a bag for the gym and things like that. So that's what hangs on that door. There's nothing behind it. And then if you pan up to the top I have two of these shoe cases here. You could see it split down the middle right there. It has um, five going up and down and three across. You can actually flip these and make them horizontal as well, which I used to have them like that. But it works out better like this because they're held up there quite nicely. This isn't all of my shoes. The way that I have it here is just like random shoes up there. And then I have a bunch of flats and gladiators, some more flats. And then I have all of my chunkless, which I know is like ridiculous. You guys are probably thinking, seriously, do you need one in like every color? And of course you can tell I have them in color coordinating order. I can't help it. You, I mean, you guys know I'm anal like that. So, yeah, I have all of my chunklas here, which I do wear year-round. So, you know, I need them accessible to me. I forgot to mention, I believe my aunt got these from, um, I want to say she either got them from JCPenney or Target a uh, while, while back. I think Target still has them. I don't know if they're the exact same ones, but they're super sturdy. Highly, highly recommend them. You can usually fit like three to four pairs of chanclas in there. And um, I, I don't know. I just, I feel like they are really, really great. I've had these for years, literally probably 12 to 15 years. I mean, for a long time. Okay, so I do not iron, but for Andres' profession, he has to iron. So I always put the ironing board way back here because it's, to me, ugly. I don't know. <laughs> I, because I don't use it that often, it's not, I don't need it accessible. So we put it back here so that he can grab it when he needs it, but it's not showing because I feel like, again, it's an ugly accessory to a closet. And then this thing, I can't remember if I got this at... Target, but it's a tie or a belt holder. So I really like this. I have all of my skinny belts right here I have some more in my bedroom, but I just I don't know too lazy to hang them up and the rest has a couple of his ties and a belt um, He has another drawer that has his ties and some more of his belts. This is like mainly my stuff I think those are like old things he never used and then here on this side you can see that there's one bar here that goes all the way across and here I keep all of my dresses 
and like cover-ups. So I didn't do them in color coordinating order because I'm just not, I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. But I did do them according to length and how I wear them. So like this, I only have one maxi dress, which is this one right here. You guys have seen me wear this before. I, I uh, Instagrammed a picture of the day. And then I have all of my spaghetti straps. I'm not going to go through each of my like individual clothes because I have too many. It would take too long. Um, but I have all of my spaghetti strap, like summery dresses here, tank top dresses, things like that. And then here I have bathing suit cover-ups. So this actually could be a dress if you needed it to, but I use it as a bathing suit cover-up. This is a sarong. I got it from Hawaii. I have two like bathing suit cover-ups like this. You guys saw this one in Hawaii as well. And then here I have like all of my regular dresses that are full either full length or knee length that have sleeves so I had that bird dress um, which I have an outfit of the day in this bird dress that you guys requested so much I will link that somewhere up here so you can take a look at it if you like have this color blocking dress um, just some more like more high fashion dresses ones that aren't like summer they require heels and things like that and then over here I have all my cover-ups so I have a couple of blazers which I don't know how well you guys can see in this lighting. Maybe that's a little bit better. But I have a couple of blazers. Um, a lace blazer from Forever 21. And then I have some cover-ups that go over like dresses and things like that. And then my jean jacket. So I feel like because I don't have that many dresses or cover-ups, it's a good place to have them right there. Um, I used to have some shoes along this. Actually, I used to have those white things down here, but I just I try and clear up the floor as much as I can so when you walk in, it doesn't feel overcrowded in here. And then back there, I actually have an old pol uh, Polaroid camera and then one of them the dresses hats. Um, there is a shelf beneath like this layer of clothes, but I don't really use it because, I mean, the clothes cover everything up, so it's kind of useless. On that top shelf right there, I have a Reebok bag that I used to use as a gym bag or an overnight bag. It's just a really cute bag. Same thing with this one. This is the Vera Bradley. If I can still find this pattern, I don't remember what it was called, but if I can still find it, I'll link it down below. I don't even remember where I got that one from, so. But this one, I know I got it from the Vera Bradley website. I just can't remember. It's the large like duffel bag. I think I bought it on sale a while back, but it's super pretty print. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. It's hot pink with all these colorful designs, so it's really nice. And then this one over here, again, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is a Vera Wang princess bag. I got this free with a perfume purchase. I think from Ulta or maybe Sephora, but it's a really nice bag. I use that as a gym bag sometimes in my car as well. And then I have some dead space over here that had some boxes that I'm working on right now with pictures and whatnot. But we have some travel pillows. Um, obviously, you can tell which one's mine, which one is on the dresses. And then I have this box here that I got, I want to say from Target. It has like the damask black and white print. And this has like memories for keep things. Um, just like old, like the first flower on the dress got me and some pictures and like... I don't even know, I think my cap and gown are in there, stuff like that. Okay, so I'll go back to this side so I can kind of zoom out so you guys can see a little bit better. But I have all of my clothes here and here. So on the top, I have all of my shirts. Any, I mean, I don't, obviously I have them color coordinated, but I don't have them by like length, you know, short sleeve, long sleeve, anything like that. I just have them color coordinated. So over here I have all of my black tops, grays, purples, blues and then as you can see <laughs> you guys are gonna like kill me I know cuz I'm like a creeper a crazy person I don't know but I have like dark blue to light blue dark green to light green you know I have like <laughs> within the color I have it color coordinated so greens yellows oranges like maroons uh, peaches maroons berries pinks whites to like taupey um, cream colors onto brown and then the hangers that I will show you guys the hangers in a little while that's on the top rack so I actually as you can see it literally goes from one side to the other so I tend to weed out my closet quite a bit like get rid of things that I don't need because I have so many clothes like I don't even wear them all all the time I usually recycle the same clothes over and over so I try and get rid of as much as I can and I also buy a lot of stuff too, so <laughs> that way, like when I'm, 
you know, ready to buy more stuff, I always force myself to get rid of some things so that I can kind of rotate the clothes in and out. That way I'm not stuck with the same old things all the time. Okay, and then on this bottom bar, I have all pants and bottoms. So over in this corner I have, and of course I have them color coordinated. You guys know I wouldn't have it any other way. But over here I have like shorts and skirts. I don't really wear skirts too often, really, but I do have some in case I want to wear them. And then I have colored pants. You guys have seen these before in an outfit of the day. And then I have black. So I start with black. I have my scrub pants, all of my Forever 21. Literally, like, all this is Forever 21 leggings. And I have on a pair right now, and there's a couple pairs in the washer and dryer. So pretty sad, but that's all that. And I go from black to, like, dark gray to brown to beige, and then I go to jeans. So these right here are all... Minus this pair, this is like a jegging type. These are all either like leggings or dress pants of some sort, things like that. Once you get right here, we're looking at jeans. Actually, they start right here. But anyway, I have dark wash jeans right here onto like blue jeans, onto lighter jeans, onto really light jeans. And then I have white scrub pants because I've told you guys before that um, for nursing, we had at one point all white uniforms. So again, I tend not to buy too many pants because I kind of wear the same pants over and over and as you can see I have probably at least, I don't know, what is that, maybe 30 pairs and I mean that's ridiculous. So I only, I keep the ones like, I go, I fluctuate in my weight a lot which is not a good thing but because I fluctuate I tend to keep like a size up and a size down. So that's a lot of the reason why I have like so many pairs of the same color jeans because I may have like a size 18 and a size 20. So the 20 like fits me right now and maybe like 10 or 15 pounds and 18 will fit or you know stuff like that. I don't think I have any 16s because I really have to lose like a significant amount of weight for 16. So I try and keep only what I'm able to wear within a few pounds and because unfortunately like I said which is not healthy my weight fluctuates I kind of have to buy or I have to keep multiple sizes because if I don't then it'll actually make me spend more in the long run so yeah those are my pants and then moving over I have extra hangers because believe it or not this is actually not all of my clothes I have a lot of them that are dirty right now too um, and you'll see when I do a master bedroom room tour I have a lot of clothes that I keep in the drawer too I mean it's it's sick I don't need this many clothes I know I don't but I do so the hangers that I use are the um, Josie, I actually can't remember the JM brand. I can't remember if her Josie Michaels or I, I don't even. I'm not even gonna try and butcher it. I will put the link to these. I got the got them off of HSN. I think HSN, maybe QVC. But I will put them. They're the huggable hangers, and of course, I got the hot pink for me. Um, but I absolutely love these hangers. They're fantastic. Highly, highly recommend them. They're kind of costly. But if you can buy them in a, in a large, like, bulk on HSN, it's so much better for you because you get so many of them for a certain price. And they let you do payments. So I have extra hangers here, which are mine. And then I have extra hangers here, which are from the dress. These are actually light pink, but I thought they were beige when I bought them. So he's not thrilled that his are light pink, but I thought that they were beige. So what can I say? And then I don't know if you guys noticed, but all my hangers are the same color because... Again, I'm a freak when it comes to colors. Okay, and then moving more down towards this way. Oh, I lied. I do have, we have a penny, like a coin jar here that's really neat. You put the money in there and it counts the money for you. And then underneath we have some extra cords. But down here I have this like three shelf book bookcase, I guess you could say. I got this from Walmart, super inexpensive. I want to say it was like $10. And on the top of it here, I actually have a Hello Kitty laptop case that I don't really, I mean, I use it, but I don't use it that often that it needs to be anywhere. You set it on your lap and you can hold your uh, laptop. I, I got one of the, I got that for Christmas a while back. But anyway, here I have Again, that iron on the desk needs it, so <laughs> he has it there um, just for safekeeping, and it keep, kind of keeps everything out of the way. I have all tank tops here, so again, color coordinating order, brown, white, pink, like red and peach, green, blue, lighter blues, and blacks. 
and I have all kinds of tank tops in here. I mean, anywhere from like beachy tank tops to like camisoles that you would wear every day. Um, to me, it's just because you see how many I have. I it takes up so much extra room in the closet that it and in my drawers too. I have so many clothes that these don't fit there. It was just more inconvenient to have them like this. So that's what I've done. So then up, let me go back up here. This is kind of a random way to film everything, but going back up here, this like area of the closet actually has all my purses like brand and non-name brand and things like that so back here I have the Michael Kors box that has like my wallet receipts wall like wallet cases and things like that and then that one is a Louis Vuitton box same thing it has like my makeup bag holder receipts um just accessory tags and things like that. And then next to that I have my um, Michael Kors Hamilton, Hamilton satchel bag in its little case. I have my Just Fab bag in its case. That's actually the, the only purse that I have up here that's non-name brand, but I like that it has its own little duffel bag, so I decided to put it over here with it. And I couldn't even tell you offhand like what exactly is in here. I would say that my Neverfull is probably in this one. No, you know what? My... Westminster maybe in this one but anyway these are Louis Vuitton boxes I just pulled out my delightful which was in this bag this box and then in this one is probably my never full and then that is my speedy 30 um, so you can tell the boxes are a little different I'm not sure if they change from these to these I actually prefer these better but these are cool because you don't have to stack them they actually stand up and they're solid so Anyway, I have um, those, and then I have my Gucci Suki bag in that one, and then my Michael Kors uh, quilt pink purse in that. So you guys tell me all the time to do a purse collection video. If I mean, here's my collection right here. If you guys would like to see more of it, um, definitely let me know. I'd be happy to show you each bag individually and tell you what I think about them as well. Let me know down in the comments down below. Okay, and then sadly, these are my Honey Bunny's clothes. He He's the type of person, he wears a uniform to work, so he really doesn't have that many clothes like overall. He always wears a shirt and a tie and black slacks. So he doesn't need a wide variety. Like he, And on his off days, he always wears the same kind of like baseball tees and graphic tees and things like that. So I mean, for the most part, and he doesn't fluctuate in weight, lucky guys. <laughs> so he doesn't need an excessive amount of clothes. But And also he has a dresser out in the main bedroom with um, regular clothes and things like that. So he has some shorts here, some slacks, jeans. Um, I have, I tried to get his clothes to be in order of like color but of course he doesn't participate in that so <laughs> I got tired of fixing them so I just kept his short sleeve like baseball tees here I have polos here for him short uh, short sleeve dress shirts and long sleeve dress shirts and then here he has some sweaters and his suit so yeah that's how I have his organized and then obviously I have his pants and shorts separated like that um, he still doesn't comply all the time with it. Sometimes I'll find like a polo over here by the pants or I'll find like a dress shirt over here in the short sleeve shirts. But for the most part, he's cool with it. And then again, all his hangers are the hug huggable hangers. Um, in uh, I thought they were beige, but in light pink. I used to have this thing under here, but it, it just was a little too tall. His clothes were kind of sagging on it. And it was a, a little inconvenient. So I tried to cover up all this ugliness right here because this is where our AT&T box is for like our internet. And you can see the modem and stuff down there. So I kind of just covered it with these two things here. This is one of those like little, let me see if I can pull it out here see all those ugly wires this covers it beautifully but this is one of those like little boxes that has has our taxes and school paperwork and stuff like that it's not really important important paperwork but it's important enough to where you want to keep it separated from the rest of your documents and then over here I have this again to cover up that ugly box but I have this bag that I got from Walmart two summer two summers ago I think it's like a I don't know like a what is this called? Quilted? I don't know. It's a beach bag of some sort. But I keep all of my empty products in here. Um, I think it's just easy because my bathroom is right next to my thing to have all of my empty products in here and to save them for empties videos or the products I've used up videos. So that's what that bag is. 
And then wrapping it up on this wall right here, I have this little hook thing um, with Hello Kitty. I've had this for years. I had it in my bathroom at my mom's house years ago. And I couldn't even tell you. It's probably from Target, but I, I doubt they sell it now. They probably have something similar, though, if you're interested in it. But yeah, I have that hung up here so that I could hold some robes and some extra purses. So on this one, I have two, like, over-the-shoulder... Um, I don't even know what these are called. What are these called? Like over the shoulder crossbody bags. Hello. <laughs> so I have this Hello Kitty one that my mom got me. Super cute. And then I have this Coach one that I literally have had for years. I can't even tell you how long I've had it. Um, I don't use it that often. I've actually sold off all my Coach purses. And that's the only Coach thing I own besides the little wallet. Um, but it's really great to like go shopping with and traveling with and things like that. And then on this one, I have a necklace here that actually goes to a shirt, like it connects to a shirt. So I hang it here in case I want to wear the shirt so I can connect it. And then here I have one of those towel things. Here, that's easier to see. It has like a spaghetti strap thing with some Velcro here at the, at the bow and a Hello Kitty down at the bottom. And then it's like a towel cover up. Of course, it's like a little, it's a little too small for me. <laughs> I've had this for years, but it's that like micro, like soft fleecy material that absorbs water really well when you get out of the shower. So I have that. And then I have this, which is a robe. Let me see. I think it's by Sears also. Yeah, extra large. And this one fits me just fine. But it's that same like fleecy material with these Hello Kitties with red and green hearts. I got it for Christmas one year. A little bit longer than the other ones. So and there's a light switch that turns it on and off so yeah that was my whole closet tour I'll give you guys another like panned view here but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions about anything definitely let me know um, any storage ideas or anything like that or if you need help like thinking about your storage ideas I'd be happy to help so if you guys have a video response to this with a closet tour of your closet definitely post it in the comments down below and I would love to watch it. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.